Right, let's try that one again, shall we? Okay, so I've got us all lined up uh, in terms of we just need to taxi now to the wrong way. Um, we are on Vatsim, so... So we, we, we will have to be announcing stuff, so... Uh, Toronto traffic, Caledonian 0205 parking stand uh, one on the northeast taxiing to runway 15 left via Alpha Bravo alright then let's go Toronto traffic, American 1213 taxiing Alpha 1 Alpha Hotel holding point runway 23. So we've got some traffic around, we have to be careful. Um, our runway has altered. We're now taking off from 15 left on a different departure route as well. Um, So we've got to sort of factor all this in. Uh, where is it? The Bomit 7, I believe. So uh, it's the same time, it's the same sort of day. Um, sadly, Tasha's not with us. Um, I got a voicemail on my phone. So sort in her own way out I think I think the delay I think I think she got upset when we crashed and died <laughs> the last one um, I think it might have ticked her off so yeah but yeah arrival into New York should be really sweet at night time so uh, right I think are we crossing the runway or we might have already crossed the runway I need to see where I'm going here. Uh, I need... Where is it? What runway is this? About to cross. Toronto traffic, Caledonia 0205, crossing runway 23. Don't see anybody. Coming in or Toronto traffic, Caledonia zero two zero five, clear of the runway. Right. So our runway runs in a like a bit of a different angle. In fact, it's here. Um, in terms of uh, VATSIM, there's quite a lot of people. Uh, two have just taken off and there's another four on the ground, so... Toronto traffic, Caledonia 0205, lining up runway 15 left for departure. Right, 
Right, so landing lights on. Ooh, that's the side doing the heat. Landing lights on. Landing lights on. Let's tell these girls. Cease for uh, takeoff, girls. Here we are. Cruise, for takeoff, please. We're on space and traffic, uh, American 1213, lining up runway 23. We'll wait for the aircraft and we'll find that. Okay, here we go, boys and girls. We're going to take off this bitch. Right, so when we take off, we've got to. Um, where is it? Bonnet. We're going to follow a. a Particular so routing. Dude, I could have barely hear what you're saying. Toronto traffic, Caledonia 0205, taking off runway 15 left on the Bomit 7 departure. Rock and roll! Here we go, boys and girls! Mmm! Here we go! are 80 knots 100 knots I have actually started Troy TC but it, we ain't using it here we go 120 140 rotation and there we go traffic American we're up right gear up indeed Right. So we need to do a turn. Let me just get our stable there. We need to do a turn soon. I'm gonna put the autopilot on. That was my mistake last time. The autopilot didn't actually go on. Oh, don't do this to me now, boy. Right, so navigation wise, uh, why, what? 147 is the course we are heading on, but the VOR hasn't kicked in. That's a bit of a ripperoni, isn't it? So we have to do a turning. There we go, now it has. So we want to uh, trim up a bit. Do a turn. Pitch up. Let's uh, bring back the thralls a little bit. Flaps up. Beautiful. Let's have a look at the uh, Toronto night sky. Boom! Oh yeah, baby. Look at that. See you later, Toronto. Oh, man, oh, man. Yes, please. All right, let's get back in. Speeding quite nicely. 5,000 feet. the vertical speed down a little bit uh, 2000 ought to do it one more there we go and we are off 6000 feet 90 miles to go on this VOR heading so that is our departure pretty much. There is no restrictions or anything, so. But we are clear of Toronto. Like that is, there is Toronto down there, I believe. And we can barely see it in this cloudy night sky, so. Look at that night sky, boom. 
Right, let's set the landing lights off. Um, what's the temperature up at our altitude? We're going up to 21,000, so... The speed is going down a little bit. Activate. Um, temperature wise, uh, it's minus 18, minus 6 at 12,000. So turn on the anti ice at 12,000 feet. Oh, look at those clouds just peeking over the clouds now. So that's 10,000 feet. Obviously, I would have put my landing lights off then. Everything seems to be going good. Pit outs. Oh my god, I didn't turn them on. Oh, naughty boy. Naughty boy. Uh, anti acing. Try bumper. Yep. Okay, that's what. After takeoff checklist uh, gear up, check. Flaps up at 180 knots, check. APU off, check. Start switches to go off, check. Landing lamps up. Air conditioning masters to open position. Air delivery valve closed. Cross feed valve closed. Altimeter set to standard. So that's the 1012. Oh, 13, sorry. Check. Auxiliary 1 and 2 can come off. And keep the boosters open until we hit our cruise, which is 23,000 feet. So, a lot of people in the air at the moment. We're kind of go the only ones going in this direction. And in New York, there is actually ground and tower on at the moment with about five departures. So, should be interesting. 12,000 feet and rocketing. Engines doing good. Top, 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 yep, everything's good. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Where, we don't see that anywhere. <laughs> oh, my life. City down there, I think. Yeah. By the looks of it. No black marble night lighting. Beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't believe it. Right. Let's make sure we're on course. Which we probably aren't. And I think we might as well do a direct to the next waypoint, in fact. So let's tr do a turn here. And we'll cut a corner basically and we've got 131 miles to go on this one and our next one is let's see what are we on now 117 next one is 116.8 so 116 point8 okay that's queued up ready 
Beautiful. literally has just set. It's that really nice time. Right, speed is getting a bit low, so let's trim down a bit. So we want to trim down to about a thousand feet. And that should help the speed get back up. Might even have to go down to 700. Doesn't seem to be actually increasing, so let's go down to 700. There we go, it's creeping back up now. 23 might be our limit. So. So basically, we're out of our departure now, 20,000 feet. Um, we've got a direct over the lake now. So... Basically, nothing below us. But water. So... So that's basically it for this uh, half of the flight. Um, I'm going to cut the video now and then bring us back when we're just about to descend. Because to be honest, at night time, unless there's some decent night lighting, there ain't much to see out here. Um, we're almost at our top of descent, uh, sorry, cruise anyway. So uh, I shall return us in a mo.
so we're um, coming up to our top of descent soon. We have to be at 19,000 feet when we get to the Lendi. Um, this is our arrival into the airport, so we're currently here. We're coming down to this point here, um, and then we're going to come over New York City, and then fly the ILS into runway um, 04 left. So that's our that's our arrival at the moment. So I'm going to tell the passengers now to sit down. Um, I'm just going to quickly though redo my um, my VOR thing um, and tune into the next one which isn't getting picked up rip on that so uh, hmm, interesting uh, okay if that's not getting picked up and um, this one is but this one is going to take us away from where we need to go I'm going to split the difference between this and the airport which is 115.9 so 115.9 so this one is trying to push me south and the airport is uh, 150 so I'm gonna go in the middle and that should be it yeah, look at that. Oh, baby. Look at that down there. Right, well, we've got to descend, so I better tell these chumps to sit down. Seabelt sign on. Top of descent. We're going down, boys and girls. We're going down. Right. So, uh, descent. APU can start. Ladies and gentlemen, from the cockpit, once again, you'll be delighted to know that we will shortly be starting our descent, at which point the cabin crew will APU start for our arrival. is on. If you can make sure all arms are clear for the cabin crew as they start making their way around the aircraft, it will be most uh, appreciated. No smoking signs on, seatbelt signs on, chiakity. Um Booster pumps all on, cross feeds on, so boosters coming online, transfers are all online, cross feed is closed, check. And let's start our descent. Oh, hello. Look at that down there. Oh, yeah. Okay. Let's start our descent. So, going down. So, retard the throttles. And descending down. And we have to get to 19,000 feet. So, at Lendy. And our air, air, air mileage can only be um, 250. So... Yeah. Let's see if that 108 works now. So it's 108.4. That's the that's the one we're going towards. So let's see if that works. No point. Okay, so we'll stay on this one. Uh, the runway course is 110.9. So we might as well factor that in now ready for when we line up uh, speed is okay and we are going down the um, there was actually some like tower on and um, some controller that would have controlled us um, in an airspace around New York but sadly he went offline so We've just got the night lighting to uh, keep us busy with. There is a lot of people in and out of New York, though, so uh, it's just going to be busy. I mean, there is a lot of people who just lifted off of New York. Loads. So we're coming in amongst a lot of people here. But there's only ground and ATIS on at the moment, so... And I've already checked in with everything with ATIS. That's all sorted. Um, we have got 38 miles before we get to our um, thingy. So I'm going to turn a little bit more. And then when we get to the 38 mile mark, I'm going to activate the runway. And then we're going to turn in the course heading for it. So this is New York State that we're flying over now. Um, yeah. 
hopefully we're going to get a decent shot of New York City as we fly over. That's, that's what I'm looking for. Beautiful. So we're on course. Uh, hopefully we're going to get to 19,000 before everything else. Oh, we could actually... No, we couldn't. No, no we're fine. We're fine. So as soon as it gets to 19,000, we'll slow down the descent rate a bit. Um, we are cleared on down to... Let's see, we're on one way, one four left. Zero four left. So we're cleared on down to 2,000 feet. Once we pass these um, little bits of 19,000, uh, there's no other restrictions until we actually hit the airport of 3,000 feet. Terrain is kind of at 3,000 feet all the way around the airport, so by the time we get down there, we'll be nice and sorted. So 19,000 feet. We're going to slow down our rate of descent here. Uh, take it down to... Get rid of Take it out of 700. Let's tell these passengers. What's going on here? Weirdo. Ladies and gentlemen, from the cockpit, you may have noticed we've begun descending to our destination. We're not expecting any of this, so we should have you on the ground in the next 20 minutes or so. If you could assist the cabin crew by tagging the train, handing them any letters to come around, it would be most appreciated, and make sure to fasten your seatbelts. For safety reasons, please turn off all electronic devices, or switch them to airplane mode until after we've landed. Please also note that the aircraft toilets will shortly be out of use. Thank you. Right, so, I mean, 19,000 feet, a little bit, okay. So, uh... There's literally only four people due to take off um, soon. We've got somebody in the air, uh, two th over 2,000 feet, heading off to the east. Nobody is in around us though at the moment, so everything is A-OK. -okay. Uh, 24 miles to go. And then basically we can tune in for the runway and turn our heading course for it. New York is right ahead. Like that might be it there. New York City. Yes, I think that is. It's gotta be. So, boom. There she blows. We're a bit high to see her. Flying over New York there, beneath us. Can't really see it because it's cloudy, but this is the city here, the main. Yeah, sadly. It's just all a bit too dark and cloudy. It's the cloudiness, really. It's the cloudiness. So, anyway, let's get our head in the game here. Uh, let's see, course, this is the airport, 13 miles away, we need to turn a bit more south, I think, let's have a look at the runway, Does that? that's not going to show up yet, we're too high, 16,000 feet we are, 
Whoa, our speed is way too high. Where did that come from? Whoa, dude, we were rocketing. I don't believe it. There's a restriction of 250 miles an hour here. I'm going 300. Bloody hell, mate. Surprised the bleed. Oh my gosh, surprised nobody noticed. Right, so really, we're eight miles passing now. I'm going to put out first stage of laps. We're actually really high here. We're way too high, I feel. I think we're going to do a turn here. Uh, and get a bit of distance. Because we're way too high. You see New York? There it is! New York City! Boom! Look at that beauty! Oh, baby! Yes! Come on! Statue of Liberty somewhere around here. Oh, yeah. That's what you call it. The airport should be somewhere over here. Literally somewhere down here. Yeah. So basically, we're gonna we're literally we're actually on course with the with our runway almost. So. Um, See, this is the airport course here. So we need to kind of remain in a perpendicular angle here. The runway, I don't think that's going to show. Oh, it does show. Okay. Oh shit, we're way too speeds dropping now. Man, you gotta you gotta be careful here. Like we're almost installing speed here. It's like one or the other for some reason. Wind must be really weird. Really All right, so that's the runway heading. Yeah, that's not doing anything because it's an ILS course. Right, so uh, we need to do like away from the airport. So we do that. 14,000 feet. So as soon as we get to like uh, put another stage of flaps out. So as soon as we kind of get um, about, I'd say about 10,000 feet probably. We could probably we could turn back. Um, we got to kind of time this well. We have to be at 3,000 feet um, when we are literally like, I guess, 10 miles away from the, the airport. So this is the airport heading and pretty much our runway heading as well. So, uh, which is 044. So moving, like we're literally on a set for our runway approach. We just literally need to turn around. So we're, we're at 14,000 feet, 10 miles out. So um, we're dropping at a rate of like 700 feet. So actually I could probably increase that to a thousand and then that would make calculating the uh, landing a lot easier. So a thousand feet per minute, 10 miles away. Um, to get down to 3,000, that's 10, uh, 10 minutes. So, and we just covered two miles in about a minute. So, in about five minutes, I can turn back around, basically. Is uh, my thinking. No. Uh,
It's all behind us now. Right, so this this is going to be a very interesting one, I think. Right, 13,000 feet, 180. We're going to look at the approach chart now. 404. We are literally on that money heading. So it's literally a turnaround. I'm just going to make it easier for myself by putting on the landing stuff now. Man, that, that actually doesn't do anything. Uh, let me see here. Let's... Yeah, we'll leave that off. lighting here. It's all a bit much to be honest. Right then, I think we can basically turn around now. So we now can line up our approach for the runway. I'm gonna flick over to the ILS course. We're 20 miles out. Um, 044 is the course, so we're a bit left of the runway basically at the moment. So I like cloudy days at night. It's pointless. Right, twenty two miles. Probably could do a shimmying over a little bit more to the left. Make sure we're lined up correctly. 10,000 feet, keep an eye on the throttles, right, before landing checklist, make sure the APU is up and running, we can flick it over to the APU, we've got voltage, it's up and running, uh, air delivery valve and cross feed valve are open, check, Com masters are set to APU, check, uh, start switch is set to relight, Check. Speed 180. Check. Uh, waiting for the airfield in sight, which we ain't gonna see basically, because um, yeah, we are uh, flying kind of blind here on instruments. So we, we 20 miles from the runway. Jeff Kennedy International Traffic, Caledonian 0205, passing 9,400 feet, 20 miles from the airport, landing runway 04 left. Right, so. Seventeen miles. Gotta line up the runway better than this. Right, so let's go back down to oh yeah, we are at a thousand feet. Okay. So we basically need to be at three thousand feet um, at the threshold of the approach. Which is actually coming up pretty imminently, so I'm trying to get these needles to a bit more align with it, but it ain't happening. So, let's turn into the runway heading now, I think. 
044 and that should hopefully sort it out so I got nothing it's just what I'm blind out here I'm blind outside there's absolutely nothing to see something freaky deaky happening here I mean, it's like we're in a pitch black hole here. The weather isn't looking good, by the way. Gotta say, right, we need to shimmy over a little bit more. 7,000 feet, 12 miles from the runway. Perfect, we're lined up perfectly with the runway. We've just gotta land this fucker. Right, the wind will blow us though. The wind will blow us, so we gotta kind of keep an eye on that right here we go we are literally on our sort of landing strip now so cabin crew please prepare the cabin for landing thank you John F. Kennedy International Traffic Caledonia 0205 10 miles from runway 04 left passing 6,700 feet we gotta get down down so, um, we, yeah, we need to really boogie on down. We're way, we're actually double the height that we should be at. So, I'm going to retard our engines a little bit so we slow down. And I'm going to drop us like a rock. And hopefully we'll be able to see something. And it's just like, where's the world gone? <laughs> <laughs> it's gone. I mean, it's like gone. It's goner than gone. It's, it's gone. It's gone, gone. Dude, we're too high. We're not going to be able to land this fucker. Right, full. F I'm going to say. Um. We're 5,000 feet, when really we should be like 2,000 feet. Oh, no, hang on. Wait, no, we're supposed to be 2,000 feet. Ah. Well, actually, we might be all right on the money here. Let me just swing this back over because we're, we're drifting. Man, where is the world? This is where we need a computer, really. We're four miles from the runway. This is going to be a go-around situation. We ain't going to land. Right, full flaps. Landing lights on just to get it over and done with now. My flaps can't take that speed. Right. I am going to try and salvage this by... Uh, it's a go-around, in it? It's a go-around. Can't see nothing. Yeah, let's do a go around. We're going to turn around and try again. Right, let's take our descent down to 500 feet. That will slow us down as we turn around. There's the ground. John F. Kennedy, International Traffic, Caledonia 0205, I misapproach. Uh, try again, runway 04 left. Right, so 2,000 feet is as low as we can really go. be nice if it was daytime to be fair alright I'm going to take this down to 300 now speed up a bit so the misapproach um it says here, climb to 2,000 feet, then climb right 
turn to 3,000 feet, which we've just passed, whoops, and then an outbound VOR to Duffy International, or Duffy, sorry, and then hold basically where I'm headed, basically. So let's line up here. And let's just kind of coast here for a second. Two thousand five hundred, four miles from the runway. We'll go back out to our approach and we'll come back in. We're over water at the moment, so we ain't got any worries. But yeah. It's just dark. It's just it's cloud down to the ground for some reason. Like just little bits of night lighting here and there. on the microphone. Oops. Right. Okay. So we're approaching our turnaround point. Eight miles out. Let's do a turnaround then to the runway. Which is slightly to our... Uh, behind us. I think to our left or right. Keep the speed as it is. We're over water now, so let's start a descent again. We'll stick it to 300. I did did tell them it was a missed approach. Oops. Zero five, uh, five hundred, six hundred feet per minute. Slow it down a bit. Right, here we go. JFK International Traffic, Caledonia zero two zero five on final, uh, seven miles from runway zero four, left landing, passing two thousand feet. That's a lot better. But we need to line up with our runway. So, we might have to take it manually. Right, here we go. 2,000 feet. Lining up. Okay, we should start to see some stuff, like, <laughs> something man, it's like a black, I don't know what's going on here, it's dark, we're going through the cloud clearly, so, okay, here we go, right, this is it basically, we're coming in. JFK International Traffic, Caledonia 0205, landing runway 04 left, three miles from the airport. Boom! What's that? Is that the air runway? That can't be the runway. Right, I'm taking control of this plane. I've got this plane. 
that's not our runway, surely. Shit, it is, man. Right, we're going to have to do another turnaround. Fuck. That's our runway. Bollocks. That is as well. Turn around real quick. We won't tell anybody, though. <laughs> oh, man. What's going on? Why is my stick not working suddenly? What's going on here? Whoa. Stick shaker went for some reason. Before. Oh, man. What is going on? Fucking hell. <laughs> Somebody's watching going, hey, that Caledonian dude decided to go around again. Right. It's alright. It's alright. We got this. We got this. Nobody sees this. Nobody knows. Alright? Shh. Just between us, all right? There's four people on the ground at JFK that don't realize. Because they only hear from the audio. They're not looking in the sky. So they don't know. So what I'm going to do now is try a little... Try a little of a... Um, what do they call it? A, a sleight of hand? Here we go. The JFK International Traffic, Caledonia, 0204, landing runway, 04 left. There we go. And they'll never know. Although, the runway's there and my plane's not playing ball. The fuck? Oh, the stick shaker's gone again. Dude, this is not the landing I've signed up for. Right, wheels down. Fuck my life. <laughs> oh. We've totally lost this one, guys. Oh! Call the MTSB! It's gone again. Unbelievable. Never done a nighttime landing successfully. Well, I have, actually. It's, uh, we crashed again, guys. Crashed again. There's the, uh, yeah. Yeah, JFK International Traffic, Caledonia 0204, just crashed a bird, short runway 04 left, NTSB on route. There we go. So, that's that. Yep, saddle to say. Hop, hop, skip, and a jump. Kill the engines, full speed brakes. Wait till we come to a complete stop, ladies and gentlemen, before. Falling into your body bag. I mean... Pfft. Fuck, you know. No wonder Natasha didn't want to come with us. Didn't want to risk her life. Fuck, you know, man. Still, bo still bopping. Look at it. It's still bopping on the ground. Take it to the air again. Let's, can we take it to the air? No, we can't. Stick shaker's fucked. Right, well, there we go. Thank you so much for watching this one. Do you know what, guys? Sometimes you win, sometimes you lose in life. <laughs> Not every landing is successful, you know? There are those odd rare times when people, you know, it crashes. So, And this was one of them. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, I run a, com a giveaway every month. Uh, 50 euros of Sim Market vouchers. All you have to do be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment down in any of my P3D videos. Uh, maybe some landing tips. Actually, we should have landed at LaGuardia to begin with so we even landed at the wrong airport <laughs> thank you very much guys take care bye bye